hey, I'm depressed as hell. Just say it. This is the sort of video I don't even know if I'm going to upload, if I'll just use it for myself or not. And a heads up, if you don't like smoking, apologies in advance. But I go for these cigarillos now and again, they find them somewhat relaxing. Not a heavy smoker though. Very disciplined in that sense. I don't think I've ever had a panic attack, but I do get bouts of serious anxiety from this, from depression. Whereby I was feeling an overwhelming fear about the future, the near future. And in my case, it's pretty straightforward, it's money. I don't have um, dependency problems, I mean I don't have alcohol or drug problems, I um, don't have any relationship problems right now, except that I don't have a girlfriend, that certainly plays on my mind. Um, I've no social life to speak of, I mean I've got, um, I've got a good friend and he visits occasionally and I'm very very grateful for that but I've no scope for example to meet women. But it's just fucking... It's like a mental wilderness because you try and you try and you try. Application after application after application. No responses. You get hope for something and then it just... You find yourself in a barrier. I see rough sleepers and... I fear that six months, one year down the line, I could be in their position. I have wonderful parents who have done so much for me, but they're in the mid 60s now. I can't rely on them. I can't. <clears throat> and the thing is, it's so fucking difficult to talk about these things because you know, especially online, you leave yourself open for judgment. And yet, I am a believer in getting things off your chest. I am a believer that talking about things, vocalising things helps. I mean this already makes me feel better. And yet I know it leaves me open to judgement. It's just this lack of stability, this constant financial worry. I may have, I'm constantly in a situation where I have very little money. I always have to buy um, bargain food, you know. The little money I get comes from online teaching, but that's that's not sustainable. It's really not. Ten or a week. And right now I have help with bills, thank God. But you see, that's the sticking point because. I mention that, people immediately jump to judgement, don't they? All I can say is I'm very, very, very grateful to my parents and I will pay them back with interest. But that doesn't change the anxiety. It really doesn't. And I know if I was financially stable, they probably, it's just the human nature. We always find something to be dissatisfied with, but this thing has plagued me. I'm 34 now. This has plagued me for most of my adult life. I've had different jobs. And I don't believe I have an attitude problem. Every job I've had, I've tried my best. But I've just had bad luck. And here in Sunderland, there's very few jobs and those that are available just don't get callbacks and it's a vicious cycle because the longer you're out of work the less you have to show to an employer you can talk about being a team player you can talk about um, good customer service but they want references 
It's a vicious, shitty cycle. I'm so ambitious. But my, my dreams, my reality, it's a massive gulf. And then you find, um, in my case, I have, a, I have a very diverse group of contacts, left wing, right wing, from all backgrounds, all religions, many nationalities. I'm grateful for that, but it also means that when people reach out to me and care, think I'm suicidal, it's... I, I value the concern, but then it makes me feel guilty if I vocalise my views on things because I'm thinking I'm polarising people that care about me but I am someone who is pretty political and uh, I speak my mind at least online at least, at least um, how can I put it um, if I think something's wrong, I'll, I'll say so. But God, I want out of this wilderness. It's a nightmare. Got this right down to the stump. Blowing ash on my new laptop, that's great. Look, all I can say is, um, I don't want anyone to worry, I'm not going to do anything tonight, I'm not going to, I'm not suicidal, but I'm bloody depressed. And, I guess just putting this out there, if nothing else, other people who are going through this, they just, they'll know they're not alone. And I just want people to understand what financial anxiety is like, it's a, it's, it's horrendous, it really shackles your whole mind because it is a constant, constant worry. You know, give me any negative emotion over anxiety. I can handle anger a lot better. I can be pretty angry sometimes, but anger anger is empowering, or it can be. Because you can act on anger, you can it can galvanize you to take action. All anxiety does is shackle the mind. It's hideous, I hate it. I don't think I'm a card. I've done risky things. I've stepped out of my comfort zone, but I just feel like I'm I'm surviving. I'm living. I'm not living. Living. I'm just surviving. And I know I'm not alone. I know there's probably millions of people out there who are going through something similar, but. It's still lonely. You still feel like um, people around you are stable. They've got a social life. Go round this up because um, there isn't really much more to say. Is it self pity? I think to an extent it is, yeah. But I just want out of the shit. I'm not a saint, but I don't think I'm a bad person. <laughs> I give change to the homeless. I, I try to reach out to people who are upset. I try to just try to be empathetic. But no matter what I do, I just seem to come up against barriers in my own life, and I am so sick of it. So, so, so sick of it. Um, that helped anyway.